Have you been wanting to create a checklist app? Let me show you how with JotForm Apps. Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm. I'm Kimberly and JotForm Apps allows you to create a checklist type function whenever you add multiple forms to your app. Now this can be utilized in a lot of different ways. So some examples could be a daily task checklist, maybe an onboarding checklist, or maybe you're running a project and you need someone to fill out forms in order to get through that project. So let's go ahead and let's create an app from scratch and I'll show you how to do this. So we're going to go up to the top left where it says my forms, give me a drop down. Let's go ahead and choose my apps. Up in the top left, we're going to click on the create app button and then I'm going to start from scratch. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and click this blue section. You can also click up here in the top left for add your first element. And we are going to choose the very first one, which is a form. Now from here, we can choose multiple forms and that's what you're going to want to create this checklist. So I'm just going to choose three forms and I'm going to click the add forms button. Now that we have our three forms in, I'm going to go into each one and make them each required. So I'm going to go up to that top one, the welcome form, and we're going to click on the settings. Then over on the right hand side, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and we can see right here, it says mark as required. Whenever we mark it as required, the next one down mark as complete is automatically going to turn itself on as well. Now, something else that you can do with this is you can reset the completion of that form. So this is great if you have those daily tasks or things that you want something done every single week. So let me go ahead and turn this on. And then we can see when do we want it to reset? Do we want it daily or do we want it weekly? So for a daily checklist, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as daily. So now that we have that first one complete, I'm going to go ahead into the second form and the third form and do the exact same thing. I'm going to mark it as required and I'm also going to mark it as daily. All right, so now that we have forms that are required, two things have become available for us in the settings tab. So I'm going to go up here to the settings. So when we turn on the progress bar, we now have add restart button. This will allow them to clear the form out if they've already filled it out again to fill out again. Now, if they have already filled out the form, that previous submission is still going to be there. It's not going to replace it, but this will allow them to fill it out again if they so choose. So let's go ahead up to publish and let's take a look at what this looks like. I'm going to go ahead and fill out this first form. All right, so the first one is done and I just love how with this app, everything stays within the app. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the back button and now we can see this form is done. We have one done and we have one of three. Now it's time to go to the next one. You can even click up here in the top right corner, go to the next form. So if you have any questions about creating your own checklist type app with JotForm apps, please let us know. I'll see you next time.